And we are back. Hey, uh, hello. Ah, uh, hello. Hello. Perfect. I'm gonna change the tune to something a bit more jovial, so we can uh, get into some some profiled candor between allies. Hmm. Let's go with this. That's profile. Turns on the friends theme song. Bam, bam, da, da, bam, 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 bam. There was literal, literal Rachel and Ross um, cosplay at the con this weekend. Oh, wow, that's cool. <laughs> no one told me cosplay could be this way. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay. We see our two allies returning back upstairs from their conversation with none other than Farhan. Doncor, do you lead or do you allow Abasi and his paranoia to stumble his way back upstairs? I will let Abasi and his paranoia stumble <laughs> upstairs. Perfect. Perfect. Curious, did did Ronan uh, relock the door? No, I did not. Okay. Perfect. Abasi, you will begin moving up the steps. Yes, probably, sir. probably quickly enough. Now uh, you'll see the Doncor is trailing behind, and you can re-enter the room. This is when you're met with Ronan. Ronan, what would you be doing at this time? It's probably been, I don't know, five, maybe ten minutes. Please don't say naked handstand. Please don't say naked handstand. <laughs> God damn it. Um, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I just hope he's peeing into in, into the fountain. I'm peeing into the I fountain. didn't know your ass opened up just like your head. That's weird. <laughs> wow. He didn't say peeing out of my butt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I would almost see the butt. Hell? Now I'm scared. Oh. Just diarrhea from all the cheese right in the fountain. Wow, that cheese went right through. <laughs> well, I'd be constipated if it was cheese. It would just like, come out yeah, as, a, as a log. Yeah, yeah. It really yeah, depends right. on if he's lactose intolerant it be, or not. It would just be a brown block of cheese. Like It depends on the kind of cheese. If he just was close just the door again and be like, it's fine. This is Neferani's problem now. Right, like, is there, is there, are we talking Munster? Because I'll fight a bitch for some Munster. Oh my. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Ah, uh, and it's this is yes, That's exactly. Why. That's what I was going with. Soph says Velveeta. This is how Velveeta is made. No. It's <laughs> multiple different types of cheeses pass through the blender that is the mouth of a goblin, and then it exits the other side, and that's how we get yeah. a block. It's like that coffee they they pull out of the poop of these like cats. Oh, or uh, sometimes uh, elephants. Uh, I think Kopi Lewak. Yeah, Kopi yeah. Lewak. Yeah. yeah. I'm scared that several of you knew what he was talking about immediately. They only. Yep. They, it's, I mean, it's it's a Jack Nicholson film, and I. Bucket list. It's bucket list, yeah, man. Yep. Oh, I've seen that movie. Fuck. Morgan yeah. Freeman. It was a good movie. Gordon it's... Freeman. Stop! I like cheese. You used to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you used to. It's true. <laughs> so what is what is Ronan doing? Uh, kind of like blocking. Kind of like sitting guard uh, against the wall, just waiting for people to come back. Okay. Um, I think I was in the room still though with. I went back in the room with Neferani, but with the door open. So would they see me as they came in? I don't know. Are you making yourself apparent, or are you just kind of... I mean, you're not a very large person. <laughs> I'd um, no, I would just be leaning against... Let me look at the... Which walls are there? I mean, there are a few plants here. If you lean against the wall behind the pillows, you might just look a re like a really bizarre plant. I'd be leaning against the wall that's... <sighs> Can I ping? I don't you know can, you I should can. be able to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, press and hold. Press and hold. Yeah, press left. Yeah, when you're when you're on the arrow, you oh. just press. Hold. Oh! I ping all the time by accident because I'm trying to move shit. Mm -hmm. Right there. I'd be on this corner. These. That wall. Okay. All right. So. They now might gl glance me if they walk then, but. Gotcha. Perfect. So the floor is yours. I'm gonna open this up. You guys can determine whatever happens. Interject whenever you'd like to. I'm making tea. <laughs> I'm still asleep. That's it right now. I got no reason to be awake. I got shopping to do later, but I mean, I, I, mean, I don't same, really got plans. Same. And you know? I think if I heard the burb say, ah, what I'm the going shopping, I would wake up. But yeah, there are I mean, multiple nephronies. I'm scared. Again? I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just keeping to myself. I'm staying in my room. I'm not stopping anybody from coming in. 
uh, brewing some tea. Okay. Familiar smell to everybody but the goblin. Perfect. <laughs> it's open. Are they? Are you guys coming upstairs? Or? Yeah, they're there. They they, yeah, they yeah, walked yeah. into the room. Oh, they walked the in. Door. Yeah. Damn. Well, you you guys are back. Uh, you got a wet stone? Oh Jesus! What the hell is? The... Oh right, the thing. You but were just talking about him, and you forgot. Oh, yeah, but he's, he's hard on the eyes. <laughs> and you're not. <laughs> You're not Abashi exactly good looking back. yourself. <laughs> I'm pulling a wet stone. He's like, I'm not what? What's so it's so worth it, you little flea bag? <laughs> You're gonna call me a flea bag? <laughs> well, <laughs> not just, just a flea bag. Looking. He called you a little flea bag. I draw my oh, weapon. Shoot! I just realized that apparently there's a quirk going on. I didn't know about. When we've discovered it. When you call him little flea bag and you hold the whetstone in your hand, he immediately like puts a hand to the opposite side of the wall and draws what looks to be some kind of pillar of steel. Bossy just chucks the white stone in his face. <laughs> I catch it with the other hand. You would likely drop your sword. You That's can't, fine. You, I was going to say, you, you can't freely wield, wield this weapon uh, with, with a single but hand. But I've got big hands. Wait, you do. wait, wait. Did he catch the white stone and drop the sword? You tell me. You you just know that it's it's part of what you are. <laughs> that you can't just freely whip around a medium sized greatsword as a small sized character. I don't, don't want to as... drop my sword, so I just kind of like try to dodge the stone. Do, Do you dodge roll? it? Would you try to catch it with your teeth? I might choke the death. I already choked. Not I really. Choked I mean, earlier. you've got to remember, like goblins naturally, like they they carry things in their mouth because of the way that their head is designed. They're capable of doing a lot with their teeth in their mouth. I feel like I'm being baited and it going down <laughs> not my even, throat. Not, I'm just trying to show you just, more just parts of your, your character. Sword and see what okay. Just drop your sword. Um, and see what happens. I'm not dropping my sword. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so do you dodge just, or do you catch it? I, I dodge. I don't okay. want to catch it with my give mouth. Give me, give me a reflex. Uh, Seeing you draw a blade, it's not like he's underhanding it. He's probably just like. Just whipping it right at you. <laughs> I was, and if he dropped his sword, hit it back I was going to you. tackle your ass. <laughs> Fuck! He's fairly swift. He's he, so agile. He is, in fact. He's able to, to whip around in a way that it, it misses very cleanly. And you threw that why? Hey, what? If that's how he's going to act, he can go fetch. He, didn't, he just asked <laughs> if he had a whetstone. I'm not entirely sure what he did wrong. No, I don't know how it was for you at the markets of the desert, but when the man pulls a blade on you, you don't give him a hug. He's oh. just showing the blade he needs a whetstone for. I'm just a bit confused. A boss is going to get close to Doncor and like tippy toe up and go, are he's still drunk? <laughs> if he was literally drawing a blade at us, do you think we'd still, well, be here with a blade that size? What do you think I threw the whetstone? <laughs> I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna reach down and grab the whetstone, and then grab the sword with my other hand and just like waddle out of the room, dragging it behind me. But I'm gonna glare the whole time at Abasi, <laughs> and then sit down on one of the, the pillows and just sharpen my blade sure. and just stare at him the whole time. As you well, reach, a small child is very pleased with himself. You reach to grab the whetstone, which looks more akin to like a brick in your hands, and. The, the sword is going to drop a little bit. It's probably going to slam to the ground briefly. Maybe not in a way that cuts the wood or anything like that, but it's just going to be like like it's a, a flop of sorts. So it hits the ground. Um, it's going to be audible. Everyone should be able to hear this, especially if you're awake. If you are not awake, <laughs> it would probably jar you at least slightly. Does Neferani just go back to sleep or... Why are you all being so loud? To be fair, he threw a whetstone after me. After calling me little and ugly? You escaped midget through a sword on me? <laughs> Are these really problems we have to solve right now? Oh, I solved it. <laughs> I'm gonna like slide out of bed, like like the whole like feet on the ground, like, and then like sit against the bed for a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's about as up as I am. Gotcha. Palaka's door cracks open and you hear her shout, if you're going to kill each other, leave the eyeballs intact. And then it closes again. 
when you shut the door, you hear a <laughs> as Giddock actually squeaks away, holding onto his nose. Oh, that's what he gets. <laughs> you see, Don Cor, what a dysfunctional lot of freaking idiots we are. Yeah, I've noticed this a long time ago. Well, you see why I'm so worried about getting stabbed? Also, you know, and he like just moves his hand and the breastplate like swings down and bounces off his thighs, still kind of sitting there attached to the waist. Like, Perceptions. I'm not exactly well defended. Perceptions, please, everyone. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's going to be a easier. Fun morning so far. It's going to be easier for some of you. More it's difficult for others. A bossy accidentally has flashed you. <laughs> okay. All right. Ronan. <laughs> I rolled pretty low. All of your rolls have been monstrous. And now we have that. Yeah, he's very focused. He knows exactly yeah. what he wants, and that's a whetstone. Never going to get that whetstone. Even then, back. you're capable of hearing this. Ronan will hear it, likely see it if he focuses. Palaka will hear it, but not see it because of where she's located. Abasi, you will see a shadow and hear it. Neferani, you will see and hear this. Donkor, also see and hear. A shadow sort of flutters on. You can hear this almost whippoorwillow sound as it seems to cast uh, a bit of a, a shade down into the open, uh, the open area, the private courtyard. <clears throat> where the fountain is. And as quick as this shade had appeared, it's gone. But there is an audible sound of something connecting with the lattice above Neferani's room. Neferani, you hadn't quite laid down yet. Ronan was entering, and between the lattice, you see that there are what appears to be talons. Fairly large talons. Like Sphinx large or like big bird large? <laughs> like like big bird large. Still scary. When you peer up, or do you peer up, curiously enough, Nefrani? I would look up, yeah. When you look up, there are two legs. You can't make out much else of the characters so far, but you can see that there's a bipedal individual with bird feet. They've landed. Bit of a slam. The lattice will kind of shudder. There's a shake in the way that they move. And then it seems to slump downward. You see two hands grate onto the lattice itself. And as the head turns, it casts a shade. It looks very similar to Palaka. The eye scans the room, peers to Ronan, and then back to you, Neferani. And then there is this brusque noise of it launching back off into the air. Well, that's not something you see every day. What, what was that? Palaka. Did I... Yes. <laughs> For you. Between the rooms where the lattice meets, there's the sound of the same slam again. This time it's much, much louder. When you peer above, you recognize the feet. It's the feet of a tengu. It appears that this individual is watching into the other room. When the beak turns, and you can see an eye casting glare in yours. Give me one second. <laughs> you can see him opening things as the monitor got brighter and brighter. <laughs> yeah, that, that's me opening my spell list, buddy. <laughs> Who's gonna die today, motherfucker? Sonic grenade, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to cast message at this thing, uh, and and telepathically just give it like a. What is it that you want? When you communicate with this, you cast message. It is willingly accepted upon this target, and a message returns, similarly to you. You hear a long hiss. And then you hear Pilaka. I'll respond uh, with, with, uh, you know who I am. There's that brusque launch again as the figure removes themselves from this area. And then they slowly begin to descend into the open courtyard. 
Wings are outstretched in a way that allows them to just flutter down very slowly. It's not in the way that a bird would descend, but in the way that Pilaka descends with her magic. She descends to, the, to roost atop the fountain. She Is peers into each of you. I knew there was problems. The knees come into crutch at the chest, and you can see that amidst her feathers, there are various bits of bubbles, oddities, bones that are mixed about her feathers. Her beak is painted with a stripe straight down the center, and there are various bits of what looks to be blues and reds that seem to be painted on top of this. Which symbols? I immediately stand up and draw my sword. I put my armor back up <laughs> off of my thighs. I point my sword at the bird. Donko just stands there. She watches. Her head slightly turned off to the left so that her left eye can watch you very clearly and the right eye seems to train on what they believe is Palaka's door. Palaka, what do you do? Do you do anything at all? Palaka is gonna kind of, she's kind of grumbling. She she had like a, uh, she's like basically her equivalent of like having her coffee and do it and like doing her crossword. Sure. She's just been interrupted by some bullshit. Yeah. As far as she's concerned. <laughs> and uh, so she's gonna kind of grumble, start backing things up. Uh, and then she's gonna, she's gonna step out of the door. As the door opens, you hear kind of like several voices like, <sighs> like the, the, the sound effect you would hear in a horror movie when a dark hallway is being panned down. That, that's that's what you hear and, until she closes the door. And then she, uh, she hobbles forward and sits down in front of the creature. It doesn't say anything, but uh, sits down like kind of, I would say like halfway across the room on some of the pillows and just watches. You recognize her. Some of you have seen her. The one of the pooks. That's correct. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the one. Which Abasi will actually say out loud. <laughs> Is this uh, hmm. a friend or do I? can I kill this? I'm not even sure. <laughs> not to be completely fair, I'm not sure if it's a friend, but I'm not sure if it's anybody worth mentioning. It's one of Palakos. Not one of mine. This one, certainly no. I have none to call my own, except you lot. That was a hiss. The thing I've ever heard you say. From the open maw, it seems I to... Mean, the, I mean you belong to me. The Tengu's mouth seems to open and you get that hiss again. <laughs> Especially at the sound of you saying, not my lot, only you. So I can kill this? Oh! Because I'm hungry. I know not yet. Uh, what do you come for? The eyes train on each of you individually. They seem to pan around the, the head, and there's various bits of twitches. The eyes train down upon your, your roving tumor of sorts as Gidok peers at the neck. She recognizes Gidok. For many reasons. But you recognize her as working, at least recently working, with the Pook. Oh, right. Before she finally says... Uh, uh, Hi, Matron. Why do you... operate within these confines? Confines? It is quite nice. I call them quarters. <laughs> the eyes seem to move about the room continually before shuddering again. <laughs> you controlled a vast coven as high matron of the Black Feather. Mm. Now you're here with them. I suppose that does ring a bell. Black feather. Ah, hmm, it's been some time. You're still doing that? Haven't you all died? 
I'm sorry. Fuck you see you this this still doing that? rise in, lame. in 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 her feathers. Like she's she's very very easily jostled at this point. You guys still pay to play Beyblades? <laughs> <laughs> the bird just lands in front of him and goes, take a Pokemon card. We're dueling. Dude, you taught us Beyblades. We've been playing in our town ever since. The feathers seem to to cart out from, from hand, and it seems almost as if there are smaller bones that are like weaved in to what appears to be uh, what looks like a rope ladder. In between, there are bones that are weaved into this. Um, it looks like what you might think is, is a dream catcher. Um, but there's no central circle or weave that might quote-unquote catch dreams. This looks a little odd. Between her, her thumb and forefinger, she's clutching what appears to be a significantly larger bone. But it's not enough in a way that draws attention from the rest of it. You taught all of us. Will we play things to you? Play things more uh, bothersome, uh, inconveniences. We were not bothersome to you when we brought you artifacts. When we snatched them from the hands of the featherless. The Featherless? Of oh. whom is just like looking at himself. <laughs> uh, d does Palaka recall this? No. Mm. No, you don't. You don't really remember. Like, you're just getting a hint of remembrance of her. But it is kind of like, all jokes aside, it's like, you guys are still at it? Because it, it wasn't that serious. Right, right. Hmm, you come, you make the exchange as countless others before you have. Only you did not leave. You sought more and more. That is not how it works. That is not the bargain. I surely thought by now that you would have dabbled in something or summoned something you couldn't handle and surely, but to see you all still alive, to see you all still not getting it, we are getting plenty. Our grove may have burned from your flame, we saw. But we thought it was a message. We still do not know why, and that's why I've sought you, High Matron. Burn the grove I did. A message I sent. But not to you. Your magic is weaker. You noticed. <laughs> All by you, design. You're fading. Long lived and finally one foot in the grave. Uh, borrowed time. Borrowed time. I'm happy to have time to have borrowed it all. Stolen, I'd say. As for you, you keep dabbling. I'm sure you will eventually encounter a power you cannot handle. You've never understood. You serve still the Pook. What possibly could Pook offer you? Knowledge. One of my students. Knowledge. As you've taught us, knowledge is power. And... They are great toys for retrieval. Did you not think it clear that it was I who fetched Gidok? You think they just knew you were here? Did you think that they knew of Gidok? Now Abasi will draw his weapon. <laughs> <laughs> so what brings you here today? To know why you left the grove. Why you have forsook Blackfeather. Blackfeather was never mine to claim. <clears throat> but if you ask why, there was nothing more to learn. Countless years 
eons I spent delving, projecting, searching. I learned much, but there is only so much one can learn from one place. Powerful? <laughs> yes, but running out of secrets. There were no more. It was my grove, mine to burn. My power to forsake. And you suckled at it like pigs. She draws from this, what looks to be a series of, of ribs, these bones, and she breaks it away from the hemp that, that it's been tethered to. And she snaps it visibly before you, dropping onto the floor, both pieces. And before she takes flight, she mutters one word. Ren Jikal. She extends her feathers out again, and she bursts cleanly back up into the air. Well, it's not going to take a bloody genius to figure out what they've been learning from the pook. I feel almost so much hot air they can fly. You, Pilaka, you know what Ren Jikal is. It is a passing, an art that you taught to them that you had forgotten, but it's something that you can remember the name of. You just remember it being lethal. Give me... Give me a wisdom, and we will add the bonus of your history if you have it. All right. Um, I do. Oh, God, that's not good. It's pretty good, uh, but it's not quite good enough. Would you like to try to reroll? You've got a bunch. I'll, I'll definitely take. I'll definitely <laughs> take a reroll on that one. Yes, that's, that's more like better. it. I got, wow. I got a plus seven to that. It's much Come better. On. The act of Ren Jikal is a ritual of bleeding out the leader so that others may take the lead. It typically it typically leads to one particular individual dying and then being skinned so that they may wear their skin as a headdress. They're gonna scout me to be the ruler of a club I don't want to be in. Sounds like Bay high school all club. over again, dude. Right? Do you they explain? Take all your metal blade blades and then kick you out. Do you explain <laughs> to them at all, or do you just roll with it? She dropped bones in front of me. Yeah, it's it's the signifier. It's sort of like the the pen on the contract. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna read magic on those immediately. Okay. The boss is just gonna look at Don and go, "You thought you see you thought I was paranoid? <clears throat> I got problems. We got birds breaking in from the roof. That's <laughs> not even one of the assassins I accounted for." This is where, typically, we would see wild magic take effect, but someone took it upon themselves to counter it today. Oh, oh thank you. Love you. Oh, my God. Blessed Savior. To be completely fair, Lossie, I still think you're insane. When you move over and you clutch the, the bones, just broke for the... you peer in the arcane spectrum, and it says your name Stay a while and in the witch's magic. And your name is separated by the break in the bones. One half says Pilaka, the other says Bitak. I'm just gonna, uh, Pilaka's gonna quickly uh, take an empty, small uh, little pouch. She keeps a couple of those for spellcasting reagents um, and pick it up like almost like a poopy bag and sure. just pick up both both of the, of the bones, stow them away. Now, you know that there are ways. Let's see if we can give you a um, a memory here. We're going to give you a memory test. Give me wisdom. Okay. I don't think your wisdom is necessarily bad. Did you want to stick with it or you want to risk it? I'll yeah. take that reroll. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. What's the odds that the the the, the DC was thirteen? You are uh, going to get some information, so but if you rolled higher, ahead, if you rolled, if you rolled yeah. higher, I would be able to give you more information. It's, it's below it's, the ten margin, so it's it's uh, eleven. So there you go. All right, it's right. actually enough. You you hit just above the DC to, to gain enough information. Yes. The the ritual of Renjikal is basically naming of bones, and they break the bones to 
reimagine the breaking of their leader. And in this case, you are their imagined leader, even if you don't necessarily remember it for one reason or another. You're not quite sure why, but if you are capable instead of magically, or excuse me, uh, reassembling the bone without magic, not just common adhesion either, as in cleanly so, you must kind of go through a series of trials. And when you mm. are found redeemable, you have an opportunity to pass the tethered bone back and declare yourself free, free of the coven. That they no longer have an opportunity okay. to kill you. But in that time, they can pursue your death as much as they desire. Okay. And so if you kill if... them, then obviously you have no threats, so take that as you will. Right, so it's it's a challenge issued by them. Yes. Almost. And as as well as an attempt on my life. Oh, good. <laughs> it's the uh, black <laughs> spot. <laughs> you need a jar of dirt, dude. Do, <laughs> do I remember how many of them there were when I left? Give me a memory test. Wisdom. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. It, uh, it was a, a pyramid of um, hierarchy. And you led that pyramid as High Matron. Pyramid scheme, baby. <laughs> and as far as Acolytes of Blackfeather, there were at least 60. Oh, God. You operated right. one of the largest groves in Western Galarian. A lot I hate of herbs. I'm not Wait. buying your, your leggings. <laughs> <laughs> What? I hate when I accidentally start cults. What? But think the about worst. this. We've, we've always known Palaka to want maybe not power, but always knowledge and things that would bring them knowledge and defeating a coven with their own spell and being free of them would give Palaka like free reign to do whatever the fuck you wanted to these assholes. Pretty much. Well, and There's learn some, whatever you wanted from them or some of them. Some leniencies. Yeah, at that point. Exactly. Your separation exactly. from Coven and going through the ritual of Renjikal and surviving, basically, you have created some kind of a bond because the the, the Coven of Blackfeather, is, it's, it's, it's blood bonded. And they all... The worst thing about this is you are the person that they gain their power from. Right, right. You are their patron. They see you as their lead. Does that mean that they are all also drastically reduced in power? Negative. They're not. They Crap. they gain from you the spells, but you forsook your levels in an opportunity right. to burn the grove and the tether to, well, everything else. Right. I just say if I'm their power source and I nerfed myself, I was yeah. kind of hoping that would radiate. I guess I guess None I could have taught them how to be self sufficient. Like maybe they rebuilt. That's something that you'll find out. Okay. Now, it's probably at this time that I can imagine that we would see Neferani rise. At least at the idea of, can I kill it? Okay, can I kill it now? In your door. <laughs> so, uh, it has the... The burb, like, flew away, though, right? Yep, she's gone. How fast did she fly away? Very fast. 120 feet around. Or I would have attacked it. Okay, so I... Like, flapping over. fly or, like, levitating so, fly? Um, there was no flapping. It was just... It was sort of like a Superman jump. Like one of those my people need me moments? Or yes. Like Goku. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that... She just T-poses and flies to the roof. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I... I T-pose. <laughs> spins. Um, kind of, I, I'm suddenly, like, at my doorway, right? I don't, I don't like that burb. And they work for the pook. And I go back to what I said before. We need to wrap up our business with the Crips. <laughs> and then we need to be the new Pook. Let's go. We need well, to she's talking about Crips and she sounds like she's out here for blood. Pook. And I must address this <gasps> wayward cult business. I suppose uh, the pook is the best one to think about. If For we now. start with the pook, then we can, if if we have, I I really think that this is the start of our life as as city overlords, but good ones. That's right. Nice. Are, are scaring me? 
Before well, I also we... want to point the consortium is looking for us. You know that, right? Well, we um, we should be looking for them. We I'm need not... we have things to give them. I'm just going to interject here for a moment. Um, I think we should reach the consortium first before we address anything pook related because I don't trust that bastard as far as I can throw him. And trust me, I can't throw him very far. Agreed. So okay, so first the consortium. But we need to protect the burb. Agreed. And then... <laughs> and then... Catchphrase. Yep, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> and then, and then, then Pook. Yes, exactly in that order. Well, yes. While this is happening, Ronan goes up and just starts drinking out of the fountain. <laughs> that he just shitted. I didn't poop in the fountain. Wait, is there poop in the fountain? <laughs> it I doesn't taste like it. That long, people. <laughs> well, boss, he's just got his sword in his shoulder. He's watching the goblin go, and he's like, "It doesn't. It's not that long people very much, is he?" Okay, <laughs> I feel like we need some ground rules. We need to talk to our friend uh, Farhan about this kind of. Why do we have another door into our place that is above? This needs to be like we need like some security yeah, if we're gonna continue to stay here. A and B. Um, uh, what is wrong with the fountain? Well, there's nothing wrong with the fountain aside from the he's drinking out of it. And another door in the lattice. There's a door in the lattice. Oh, Where's the, the big from? fuck off hole? <laughs> I would say, I, I guess, yes, I know it has a hole, but that's the second time someone has entered here through there, and it doesn't oh, give me the cool. fuzzies, and, and I don't feel very safe when that happens. I mean, it's probably one of the only things that can stand there without falling through. It's I, one of Palanca's. I, I just want to point out that I've already talked to Farhan today, and I was worried about the security, but Doncourt doesn't seem to think it's a big deal. Before we get too much further, I would like to interject. I did mess up uh, something. I had written this down earlier um, with the intentions of saying it, but I, I misrepresented it. It's not uh, It's not the Coven of Black Feather. It's the Coven of Blood Feather. Blood Feather, okay. Yes, Blood Feather. I'm going to write that down. Um, <clears throat> it might be a little bit late to ask this, uh, but did I recognize the spell that you used to fly? Uh, yeah, it's just fly. It's, it's the spell fly or yeah. my hex? Similar um, it's similar to a it's similar to a hex. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. But as far as things additionally, so she's likely accumulated a lot of the baubles that you didn't care for. Damn trash picker! And she, uh, you have a raccoon in your shirt, but she's clearly also not very good at flying. If she hit the roof super hard, oh, she was being she was trying to jostle us, bro. And she she flies around at like a million miles a second. She's pretty good at flying. Why would she want to? So say she gets alone with you for a second and just discounts the rest of the party as a dumb bird. Dude, that was going to die. If we had tried to take her on, she would have killed us. That was the witch equivalent of just slapping your dick on the table. That's what she just did to us. And she told me you're going to die. I've which is which I've is due respect. Which is due respect certain tenants. Uh, there, there's X amount of tenants yeah. of survival. If there's someone that is a direct threat to clan, they will completely disabide by whatever their own laws are. But one of them is to not disturb another, regardless of their position in in the coven, in their home, in their abode. And since then, Pilaka has created and established many runes and rituals inside of a room. This is her new home. Home base. Yep. Set Hearthstone. Still broke. <laughs> God damn it. Still broke in though. <laughs> Can you bubble uh, heart? She she got me to come out. Yeah, but it was she was throwing down the gauntlet, right? Like she 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 hit you with a yeah. leather glove and said bitch and flew off. <laughs> <laughs> but she but she followed protocol, so yes. you know I respect it. She's gonna die, but I respect it. You They're all try. gonna die. Like I've no seen that Neferani is looking to take over the town. At least three of us are like, the pook will die. The birds are fucked. My dad's gonna end up on a pike. 
We're looking like we might fans. be some monsters here. <laughs> do we have like a Gantt chart and like a prioritization thing here? Because we got a lot to do. A lot of people to kill for right? such a like, small party. Can someone start a Trello board for this party? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I've been meaning to add a page of shit we actually are trying to do. Oh, I was being jokey, but I think it might. I mean, I think it's not a bad idea. Before we need to start collecting our own, and since none of you are going to do it, so anyway, the uh, the Google Doc. You know we're so not the Discord. Oh yeah, oh, the Discord, that too. Yeah. yeah that, somebody... Oh yeah, that's right. The shit we talked about doing. So the. Uh... <laughs> All right. Are we the bad guys? Are we the baddies? <laughs> Yeah, I probably. do things on pa on paper because I'm a Neanderthal. No, Me too. I'm the Me same alone. way, but still. <laughs> no, it's okay. You guys just keep working. I'm going to enjoy this milkshake and this banana bread, and you get back to me. So, okay, so I feel like we need a plan of attack here, and um, I think that it needs to be as follows. I need stuff because uh, my fur got basically a singed to my backpack and all my stuff melted so i need some stuff <laughs> <laughs> oh my... uh, that's first uh luckily my bongos are okay thank you everyone for asking we should do that and then i think it's it's burp killing time or no no consortium time first settle with them get our 69 gold the cat has boss. a point and then, just oh. sitting there. He's like, well, I, I have to go talk to, oh, damn it. What was her name? The Phrasma's high priest. Yes. It's actually drummed up during break. Uh, one of the viewers by the name of Digital Mushroom wrote uh -oh. me and found the spot in episode three where you agreed uh, with one month's rent paid and nice. the amount. So it's entirely up to you to discuss with your allies, but Whatever you made from the consortium could easily seclude you guys a month, two months, maybe three. How much was it for the month? 120 gold for the month. So for we'll another 120 gold, we can have the place for two months and yes. Farhan will help us in all regards. Yes, he will yeah. keep bringing up uh, an expected amount of food and clean water uh, daily. Will that food include we'll cheese? We'll easily have that Likely. between us. If, if you make requests, yes. But if it's something that's rare, it's like, I would like peacock feathers and all of my steamed meats. That's going to be a bit of an upcharge. Why? But then we get steamed meats. And we get peacock feathers. <laughs> well, like, it's I feel an upcharge. Like drawing a strange line there. That is That should be included. Can I Peacocks. speak to the manager? <sighs> God damn it. I just got a haircut. It goes... It's... <laughs> <laughs> Pe Peacocks are revered here. So I was just, it was an example. God damn it, Misty. You're killing me, Spice. <laughs> I, now I need like peacocks with like in onions, like peacock feathers just sticking out of onions. And I feel like that is now the symbol of whatever new bar we open. The peacock and onion. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so I need to go to the, the, the store. This is it bad that I, I have a Katy Perry song stuck in my head now. I'm sorry. That's always bad. I well, want I mean, to see your peacock. Your peacock. Yeah. Sorry. That song is totally about birds. So the uh, totally the, about birds. The, the market. <laughs> the marketplace is calling my name. Can someone? I think we should do. Here's my plan. Um, because now I'm mad because someone was mean to the burb. And she came in here, and now I don't feel safe again. So the. I feel like someone needs to reach out to the consortium and tell them that we need to meet and set them t set a time so they don't think we're blowing them off or anything like that. You know, that's the thing. They never gave us a way to contact them, I think. Uh, it's the what, a consortium? They find you. Yeah, that's probably how that works. Mm -hmm. True. I just don't want them to think that we were avoiding them. Well, didn't we meet them? Didn't didn't I meet them in... Didn't like we go somewhere and meet? Uh, yeah. Oh, a bossy points across the hall? Oh, right over there? Oh, that's right. They came to us. Okay, so um, if you see any people, ladies in hats, flag them down <laughs> while we're out and tell them that we wish to have a meeting and that way we are the good guys. You know, that will cause very awkward slackers. situations. The rest of you can do that. 
<laughs> She's running through the street. You with the hat. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna Get throw out my. I'm gonna throw out my old lady disguise. Uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit easier on the eyes, like maybe just like a somewhat less haggardly old old woman. Uh, maybe it's a little still googly in the eyes, but uh, and head downstairs and get some breakfast while Abbasi's, everybody's making plans. Abasi snickers as Polanco walks by. I feel a little self conscious today. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna <laughs> respond, but I'm just trying to not get noticed. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to... people noticing uh, me since I hit this town? I'm going to watch the burb leave. Can someone trail the burb friendly-like and make sure that she's okay? I don't believe the burb should go unaccompanied. Yeah, does, does anybody go with Palak at this point? You've had some experiences. I have all of my stuff on me already. Again, well, I... you're used to leaving us all for her. <laughs> <laughs> Curious, funny, because funny. I, I'm not, I don't recall getting an answer, uh, but does Pilaka explain anything that was said? Renjikal, the art of Renjikal, your your laws and tenets that you abide by, do you explain any of those things to them? Because they're Absol- obviously they're very scared about being attacked. Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and I just, not without being asked. No, in character because it's the bird. Yeah. Okay. No. I so I'm not. I'm gonna reiterate. Um, <laughs> the bossy will follow. She did say something, as she flew away, and she dropped the bones. And you would have all seen that Pilaka had some kind of reaction, but didn't say anything about it. Which is par for Palaka, from what we've all noticed. Right. Yeah, Don Carl wouldn't have said anything anyway. That's her, that's her business. I yeah. That's what I'm assuming. That's why I'm concerned <laughs> because the burb does never get shook. Right. Burb burb looked a little shook. Small amount. Small amount. Have, like have you noticed that? I don't. I don't know if you were doing this on purpose. I feel that you were, and I love it. You started making more aggressive bird noises when Palaka was for the first time off her game. We actually got to hear angry bird sounds. Mm-hmm. And I really liked that. Uh I don't know that it was I don't know that it was, maybe. I don't it might, might have been intentional. Well, yeah, because <laughs> because Bob was doing it, and then when that bird left and Palaka was pissed, you started doing it, and I was like, I've I know. never heard Palaka make that noise before. Me I was I like, know. is the bird still here? And then I realized it was it was blah and not. That's just being in touch with your blah. character. It's not a I've, third person extension, it's it's just a self extension. Yeah. I like that. I, I think Palaka was was rising to the challenge. It was it was challenging vocalizations. Like a bird fluffing out. Puffing yeah, those like feathers. She, she puffed up and then she puffed up. She was like, he made the sound, so I made the sound. Like, like yeah, what? <laughs> you return with the language you're spoken to. That is birds, dude. That is birds. Yeah. Call him, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get that on a shirt. I, Call all right, him, motherfucker. So Abasi is going with the burb. I am going to shop. Who wants to shop? I have to see how much gold is still and gold and platinum is still in this bag that we took, and then I'll be more than happy to um, shop with you. I think we should probably finance some stuff for all of us uh, because I don't know about you, but I don't have any money, so I should probably back up a little bit. It's a good point there, Doncor. Money. <laughs> Just waiting for the horrible slam noise as Abazi reaches the top of the stairs. His breastplate falls down, kneecaps him, and he rolls to the bottom of the stairs. Flag and flag. Roll a dexterity check. <laughs> yeah, right, with his dex? Already dead. Um, <laughs> let's see. I, I want to do something here. I want to give you a bit, a, a small amount of lore dump, but I want to see if this is something that Pilaka can recall. Pilaka. Yes. Let's go with a memory test again. Wow, Palaka. This wow. session is for you is largely going to be about memory since this is this has been called down. Mm. You stick with it? <sighs> this is a memory about this particular woman, this Tengu woman that has thrown down the ritual of Renjikal. Do it. Alright. I'm thinking real hard. Uh, dude, but there's like twenty five minutes left. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's that's pretty good. You actually I think it means four. You do remember yeah. her. Uh, her name is is Maze. Like the corn? corn? <laughs> sort of. It's M-A-Z-Z-E. Maze Prezak. Prezak is a title very similar to Bitak. Bitak in Tengu means high matron. Prezak is different. 
Prazak is a secondary role under High Matron. There are three of them, and only ever three of them. You can't remember their names, but she has two sisters. They all refer to themselves as sisters in the coven. It's no men allowed. It's a, it's a male haters club of sorts. You can probably understand why. Mm -hmm. That being said, there are, you can recall that there are at least two other Tengu witches that rival her in power, but they could never, even in total union, best you in your game. Now, maybe a little different. You're not sure if it's just Maze here alone? But Maze is here. Maze Prezak. P-R-E-Z-Z-O-K. Okay. And uh, what were the other one's names? Did I recall that? No, you do not. No, okay. Uh, all right. Maze Prezak. And she and Prezak was uh, was sister? Uh, it's... They all refer to themselves as sisters. It's basically like it's a trainee under high matron. They okay, it's, they okay. command the others to do all of the work that you usher. You just say, do this for me, regardless of what it is. If you were like, kill the last three acolytes that signed up, they would be like, yes, yes, high matron. Or yes, Bitak, in this case. And they would follow through and do just that. Sometimes it's a rough winter, you know. Too yeah. many mouths. That's right. It's a... It's very cut and dry, all jokes aside, in, in Coven society. And you never really know which way your, your patron deity is, is going to usher your powers. Um, you know, there are a lot of acolytes, but in the hierarchy, the acolytes are the lowest on the list. And there are still two rungs of power between that and Prezak. Okay. You can't really remember, as they weren't powerful. You didn't care. But what you can recall about Maze is she was your direct trainee. She saw you as a personal mentor. The others saw you as a way, a font for power. This is a personal hit for her. Okay. And while canonically you saw Batak as having some other value, we're just saying, for the narrative's sake, in your coven, you assigned the roles, and while you said Batak is that, they took it as Batak is High Matron, and you gave them additional names from there on okay. and so forth. Mm -hmm. They made it up. Okay. They made there it is up. an official translation that that is not that. They took it as something I... totally different. Okay. Okay. Well, the tag also means this. Okay. Due to fanboys, fangirls. Sorry. Dude, yeah, that's that's accurate. <laughs> as far as additional information, it might come to you in a fever dream, but you didn't roll high enough to get anything else. Okay. That's a, that's a lot to think about over some eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that sounds like wait, Palaki eats eggs? Yeah. I mean Dude, birds, birds, birds. Like all the time. Crows are omn omnivorous, they'll eat anything. Oh, oh the more you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw the whetstone in my mouth and then <laughs> and then uh put the short sword on my shoulder and just run down the stairs. The the Oh, I thought you said short sword. I was like, there's nothing <laughs> short about the sword. <laughs> you likely oh, drive a divot shoulders. into the wood. Put it on my shoulders and just run down the stairs with it in my mouth. Okay. But I, um, hold on. But uh, as I pass the the cat lady, I'm going to smile with it in my mouth and then and then continue to run down the stairs. So that... <laughs> Neferani, what do you have? A knife! No! <laughs> <laughs> that now makes Pilaka and Ronan uh, leaving. Ronan struggles at first because he throws his his sword over shoulder. Is this like a quote unquote sheathing process, or what? Are are you just like holstering it over his shoulder? Um, I mean, because I I don't really have a like a, a sh I guess it would be a sheath, even though it's huge. It wouldn't really um, work either, right? Um, I don't know. I just I'm, I have the leather armor, the studded armor, so I just kind of rest it atop, and that's how I carry it. Okay, just over shoulder. Um, uh, begins... cr across both the shoulders isn't oh so horizontally so it's perpendicular yeah, to your body yeah, great that's perfect so as Please you see him a doorway exactly what happens he shoulders <laughs> it and sprints right to the door after smiling and he clips the door it sends him spinning give me a reflex please <laughs> i love it <laughs> 23. Damn it, he's so fucking agile. He pirouettes with it. It's it's almost uncanny how he's able to roll with the punches, but he does just so. 
Clipping the door or not, he leaves a divot where the sword smacked. He was moving quite quickly. I don't even, it doesn't even phase me. I just keep going. My party just systematically destroying the what? room we're renting. Isn't, isn't a bossy in front of me? Didn't you follow him down the stairs? So is it did, Baka, yeah. then a bossy, then me? So then, what about Doncor and Neferani? So Neferani doesn't have any money, and I think Doncor has what... All uh, of the money. <laughs> besides a bossy at this point, has all the money. <laughs> Abasi still has two bags of gold and I have a bag of gold and, uh, gold and platinum. I have no idea what's in those bags, by the way. Yeah, neither do I. So we need to decide for that and then we can go shopping. So I, I agree with that. Yeah, I I, I was getting ahead of myself uh, because <laughs> I'm that's who I am as a character. Uh, so I, <laughs> I, I go over to Dunkor and, and basically like let's, let, let's, let's get this enough like sorted so that um, we can spend some of it on things we need only for now. For now. Did you say anything, Doncor? Uh, no. He's just going to take. He's going to reach toward his bag, kind of like nodding at Neferani, and um, start looking for the bag of golden platinum. So that way we can decipher how much is in it. Sure. Sounds good. Okay. Is there anything that you wanted to do before each of you hit the market? I mean, I'd, I'd want to eat breakfast with Balaka. Sure. Are you assessing the value of your, your goods up to this point? Are you kind of piling together to determine what you have? I'm going to check my shit after I have caught up with Palaka and made sure okay. that there's not like a fucking arrow-shaped dagger through the side of her head. <laughs> Just in case I didn't say anything before, each of you would have gotten a Cure Light potion uh, from chat in the very beginning. Oh, oh cool. Thanks, oh. Nice. So one day these are all going to get poisoned on me. I don't know where I would put it because I don't have a bag. It appears next to the uh, the whetstone in your mouth. <laughs> it's like out the side of my tooth. Yep. Just a just a, a potion vial. Oh, well, look at this. There's an extra potion in my bag for you, Nefrani. I don't have a bag. Palaka's halfway through, like, burning down, a like, a fistful of eggs, and then she's like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a boss, he just kind of freezes mid-step and goes, I had so many questions coming down here, and I have so many more. What the hell is that? I... I, uh... I plant my sword. What 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 is the floor made out of? Wood? Yes. So I stab my my sword into the into the wood and then I spit the wet stone on the table. And then I guess take the For home behind the counter, eyes go wide again. He moves very quickly from behind the counter, looking directly at you, and then peering down at your sword thrust into the oh. wood plank of the floor. A bossy face palms and he just holds up one singular gold coin and he goes I don't know what wood costs. He's an idiot. <laughs> he snatches the gold coin from you quickly, <laughs> and he moves over to you. Listen. Do not do that again. I am still sorry that you are an ugly pamet. <laughs> but you will not destroy my building. Are we clear? I just hop up on the stool and turn around. With one hand, he rips the plank and your sword up, and you can see for the first time, while the age has weathered his body, the muscles haven't quite gone that far. Tearing the plank and its nails up with it. Are you not hearing me? There are few things that I care about in this place, and the Tuten Hookah is one of those. Do not destroy my property. You okay, know, I got it. You know, Nefroni, I hear Farhan not too happy downstairs. That's not a good sign. It's probably just the bird. That's what I'm afraid of. It's, she'll figure it out. So since you uh, have that piece of wood, there's another hole in the ceiling upstairs. What do you mean? Uh, I don't know. There's birds everywhere. He looks over to you immediately, Abasi. 
Hey, you know, I warned you. Remember the last time we said our raccoon went missing and that something came in from the... Yeah, something bigger came through the roof and I don't know, it broke a bone. It said something in a language I didn't get. Talk to the old lady. It knew her. All I know is I'm still in one piece. You're right I'm... there as well, Pilaka, if if you wanted to interject with anything. Uh, I'm going to be sitting there while every time Abasi's saying, oh, she's like... <laughs> And boss, she's like slapping her hand away. He's like, no, yeah. no it's, it's not my problem. It's our problem. And, <laughs> and if Farhan looks over, she's going to be like, <laughs> He's looking right at Abasi's face. <laughs> so he just sees like this old wrinkly finger, like, <laughs> <laughs> mutter the lip several times, getting slapped. Oh, no, hey, I'm doing that you. like uh, like across, across oh, the way. Oh, okay. Like, All right. Gotcha. Like, zip, zip. Yeah, like, like, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> his eyes fall to you. Do you have birds or do you not? Uh, open air. <laughs> All kinds of birds. I believe he's upset that one shat on his shoulder. <laughs> it happens. He tears his rag in half and he claps it on your shoulder. This is no problem anymore. <laughs> Wipe off your shoulder. Grow up. There are worse things in the world than bird shit. Oh yeah, like a big hole in your roof. <laughs> It's, yes. it's, <laughs> but he's an open up, dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he he throws it on whose shoulder? On on uh, Abasi's? Abasi's. Yeah. After, after he declares, you know, he's got a problem. He was shit on. He's, okay. The other worst things are being shit on. I thought they were saying I was shit on. I was like, you roll <laughs> like old. Get the yeah, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Sorry. Abasi's just mad. <laughs> that's that's all he was doing. Now keep. If you would do me the favor, keep your brother in check. Oh, I did. Look are you going to go, Are you going to go and clean the bar with that rag? Not that one. I have many more half rags back there. Just checking. The boss is, the boss <laughs> is just sad. He's just going to do one of these. He's like... People Ooh, haven't quite started piling very in. Very conscious of cleanliness. People haven't started coming into the to the to the hookah. And he's he's pretty open about a lot of things, particularly his threat to the goblin. But he weighs in again, uh, Bossy, after he clears the bar to the other side. Have you thought about my proposition? Is there something else that we might come to an agreement on? Or is one more month's time fine? Well, for now, it sounds like it's a great deal. I'll go find this lovely... I'll turn back over a minute. I'll go find this lovely Omen Colton you've been talking about and I'll figure out getting the money for the second month. I did not once say that Omen was lovely. <laughs> I'm about to get a freeze and he goes, you know, I have a sneaking suspicion that I'm not going to like this, but we'll figure it out. She is a merchant. You will see quickly that she is quite one for haggling. Well, we've got quite one for haggling, too. Of course, he's a little bit of a toothy dick, but he'll be down. He leans over, and he looks in the well when you say that. <laughs> slowly leans back. Okay. <laughs> Not really sure what to make of that. Then we would see the draw of Doncor and Neferani. The toothy dick's here! <laughs> He points to you, uh, Doncor. He calls you a toothy <laughs> dick. And somehow I feel like I've missed an entire conversation where I was called uh, crocodile again. Also, part of the ground is ripped up, and the sword's still stuck in a piece yeah. of wood. It's well, it's it's been laid across the table. There is clearly a plank of wood that has been, I guess, driven through with this great sword. Now it's placed on a table. <laughs> And I can assume that it has something to do with this giant sword with wood on it. What it, happened? It was a start, yes. <laughs> uh, Abasi just motions to the goblin and says nothing. Just keeps his arm up like, In woe and wonder, look what I have found. I'm sorry I was choking on a, a potion that was in my mouth. I don't really know how it got there. <laughs> this is actually quite a bit of a surprise because 
in all of the games that I've ever ran with this available, no one has ever openly discussed this among, amongst themselves, especially since they never go through their backpack at the same time. And it's here that we saw inside of the mouth of the goblin and now the Tengu potions arriving that weren't there previously. Would Palaka say anything since well, you didn't say anything in the first place, but you've overheard? No. Okay. This is I even haven't better. been through my bag since we went down there. I do not know anything along the lines of that I have six cure lights in my bag. Yeah, that's actually weird because I found I found two extra potions in my bag too. One, I guess, for Neferani because of, well, I don't need it and she doesn't have anything yet. But is this a bad thing? No, it's just weird. Does it not always happen? I'm new. I don't know. You've I, all I, also been receiving strange potions. I thought there was thought, a yeah, brewing in my sleep. Raccoon. I thought he's been given. The, it's not a raccoon. Are we sure it's not the raccoon? Have we asked the raccoon? Between this and the Arai spells, uh, something is amiss. And I think that's where we will continue this discussion next time because I'm sure that we have to discuss some very private matters that we don't want people to be hearing. How's breakfast going today? Well, you should see what that bird's been doing. I don't know if that's eating or not, but it's certainly been putting food away. <laughs> oh, God! It's like a chunk of it lands right in front of a bossy. Oh, it's like a child. Oh, it's so what is that? I reach over and I grab and I eat whatever he just spit out. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm surrounded by the grossest people in Galarian. What the hell? Thanks, bird. You know that's, that's probably... goblins for you, completely uncouth. You know that's probably like not the children. grossest thing I've ever seen. The boss is just like, I want to die. I don't want to die. Do I not want to die anymore? <laughs> Don Don Cor likely have uh, would have seen like men on the brink of like starvation probably do much worse. <laughs> Men on the biggest reason that weren't willing to do as bad as that. I'm going to lean into the door and be like, Is it okay if I order uh, breakfast? I know you guys put me up for the night and I should be going soon, but I would really like some breakfast before I have to go. I mean, where the hell do you think you're going, Adam? I don't even know where I am. When, 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 when he says he's going, I'm going to go over next to him. Be like, so, I, no. No? Unless, I mean, if you want to. I'm not going to force you to stay, but I lost my friend. He was redheaded and annoying because he always wanted drinks, but I liked him a lot. And he's gone now. And we had another redhead that is also gone. So maybe since your hair is not red, you could stay. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know that I like the disappearance of multiple friends, and I'm the one to replace. <laughs> oh, I've never only got kidnapped I... and Sanja fell away, away with a giant talking boob cat. Yeah, what do I have to worry about? You know, just flying you... orbs through the ceiling. You carry around quite a large sword for a small man. So, uh, excuse me, a, uh, a diminutive fellow. <laughs> you wouldn't know the word. <laughs> <laughs> You are, Fun. is it safe to say that you are handy with such a blade? I mean, I'm pretty good with the sword. Do I believe him? There's no he reason to lie. He, he he hasn't really exhibited a lot of strength thus far, but last night he did get pretty irritated and he kind of roided out for a moment. <laughs> and he did just destroy an entire floor panel. And the well, door. Yeah. Well then. We could have some use for you. And if you are to join our group, we know the lay of the land. And uh, there will be, of course, cheese. You know, cheese gets you good for one night, but I don't know that I could only be paid in just cheese. And gold, of course. In fact, uh, those people who have disappeared, there's no one to collect their payment. Surely someone who was until recently a slave until yesterday, a slave would need some sort of funds. Well, I, guess, I like to kill things. Are, are there, is there killing? Oh, most certainly. We've killed several things so far. Okay, so As a group. 
And if Raleigh appears to have a short list on the ones that still need killing, what the hell happened to you? I, I didn't when say that they needed to be killed. Let's not talk about killing people. <laughs> Farhan, Farhan not actually, people. he raises his hand. Doors. <laughs> I believe that I would like to uh, discuss the agreement of 120 gold. You, you did not say many things until now. You will have your payment of 120 gold, whether it be from me or from the dwarf. Yes, yes, I, like I, am, I am no longer worried about that. I am more worried about all of the hobbies that you happen to have. <laughs> They're being silly, <laughs> of your hobbies. We don't kill... I don't think we... They're talking kill about more things people? than the two. I just turn and smile and nod. Listen, listen. <laughs> no one we killed has not been in self-defense. Do you think that this is my first adventure? Am I a greenhorn? Uh, no, I, I think am. I pointed that out when I saw your arms. You must provide some sort of insurance. <laughs> if, if you are going to take on this kind of work and aptly speak about killing people, even while only in the company of me, there are things that I wish not to know, because, well, as good as my jaw is, sometimes my tongue may slip, but not because I want to, but because of magic. That's fair. We should just shut up. You should not talk about certain things in front of Farhan. I, I, I agree, but in terms of insurance, I'm gonna, um, we're paying you ahead of time for our month, and probably leaving some stuff. So, I mean, if we don't show back up, we can sell that stuff and, you know. So are you suggesting- We're giving him over 200 gold. You're right. And I am giving you discount every month of 20%. <laughs> yes, actually. Because the original cost was five gold ahead per the evening and he's doing it at four gold. What, what if- But I'm pocket size. To make your twice as much crazy. destruction. So, what <laughs> if I agree that once per month I play and split my profit with you as like an extra bonus? Then you have an entertainer, and I have some practice and some money, and you have some money, and I'm pretty good. I've heard you're playing in the first time that you are here. You are, in fact, a very beautiful player, but music does not repair the walls. It will but, also not fix my broken arm. But the money that I bring in will. Oh, what will Pook do to your money? Let us worry about the Pook. I messed up. I would not worry about Pook long. <laughs> <laughs> were we just Burp! talking about stopping killing people and then we're right back Burp! on? This is the we're problem. Up. We're keeping it low. This oh, is the Bossy problem. just like does what he just goes, wait, wait, wait. The Pook has no reason to hit. It's like, we need some code or right. something. Like, okay. can we use well, like, No, wait a minute. That, what, we're not the enemies of the Pook. Why is everyone freaking? We're not the enemies of the Pook. He asked for one thing. He has that thing. There's no reason for him to hate us. I just want to say, why are we still discussing this so loudly? Well, <laughs> Farhan, Farhan, ask for it. <laughs> Farhan, earmuffs. No, this is my bar. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a child. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> that's, but that's what I mean. Abbasi and, here were, and, uh, Abbasi and I were here earlier. He wants nothing to do with the pook. Right, Farhan? This is true. I do not want anything to do with that man and the things that he do behind walls. Then that should be something that we discuss on our own time. Not that there's really much to discuss in the first place. As far as killing people is concerned, we haven't killed anything that wasn't inside the tomb. <laughs> and Dankoy just kind of like lets it there, waiting for somebody to, to interject. The only insurance that I need is that if something happened to this place, one of the two things that I happen to care for, that you will, without reason, without argument that you will repair or perchance even make better is this fair i 
I hmm. think that's very fair. I promise to break whatever I, or fix whatever I personally break. I mean, I'm still on board <laughs> for the idea of opening up a second one, so yeah. I promise to break whatever I fix. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do Probably promise- Probably the more accurate of the two statements. <laughs> I too promise that Abasi will fix anything I break. Well, that's not true. No, I don't know. I'm not attached it's to her. It's sealed. It's not. You've entered a coven. <laughs> I, what in the bloody hell even is a coven? I entered a tomb. Uh, that's what I coven. know. That's where I live. <laughs> he doesn't know what a coven is either, man. He doesn't have a bloody clue. <laughs> For Han's concern intensifies. What? Donkor has a lot of money and a lot of very bitey friends. You're covered. It's good. His eyes train on you, Donkor. <laughs> Under the bus. <laughs> Am I ever going to get breakfast? <laughs> Listen, Bamet. You will get your breakfast soon enough. Shh, I'll get you more cheese, my friend. How, how did this get put on me? What, uh, what are we discussing now all of a sudden? Don't worry. Don't call it. I'm sure you'll handle it. And Abbasi just turns and walks out the front door. <laughs> well, listen, and... Dunkor, from my understanding, <laughs> the old woman oh, have said that if she breaks something, it falls on the shoulders of this pomet. And because those two are brothers right there, if something break from him, <laughs> it falls on his shoulders as well. I look but starry eyed at Abbasi. Abbasi, like, this, this pomet has said that it falls to you. If something I don't breaks. know him! What about brothers? He is creepy. He smells weird. And just, you know, look at him. What size would you say he is? Just so what's that love for the rest That's of us? That's not very nice, Abasi. <laughs> That's not very something you say to your brother very well. Listen, I it's will- It's not my brother! <laughs> Damn you all! I know where you sleep, and I know where you sleep, especially Donkor! It has nothing to do with me. I will, yeah, yeah, you know what, fine. I will repair or I will help to repair whatever it is that they wind up breaking. So they better not break a thing. You guys made the alligator mad. I only agree to things when people give me breakfast. Can we get some Fine, fine. I will get to you a, the breakfast that you desire. What is it that you, have, you hunger for? I will, you have meats? Yes, we have some meats. I like meats and some mead. What kind of meats would you like? What type of mead? M meat. Meat? I don't know what meat. you got. He furrows his eyes closely and then he looks to anyone. Is he the little brother? I don't know He's what he is. Not my damnable brother! <laughs> it for all intents and purposes, yes. You can definitely see where they get it. He's definitely the, the hungry one. He's the angry one. They're definitely family. I would like some whatever dried meats you can hand me. You can hand me. I, I need to go and... Bossy gets a dark horse face. Oh, you want to know about the sleepy one too? Nefrani, he kind of leans over to you. How young? Because we have a tiny croc meal here. <laughs> I Wait, is he threatening to feed me to a... No, no, he's dude. saying it's that you're a happy, meal, happy meal, dude. Meal, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting. Wait, wow. hold on, hold on. I'm gonna lean back over and, in my best ne Neferani lack of whisper, does it come with like a toy? Well, yes, we, we have some small toys. It's made out of clay, though. <gasps> Do you want a toy? I'm gonna look at Ronin. I'm just gonna glare at the big man and make, be like, Give me two of the Happy Meals and one toy. <laughs> yes. Uh, He's a growing boy. A growing boy, yes, yes. Then, then, this is fine. We will get you, get to you the two, two tiny crock meal and... And, and one, one big mead, because I'm not little. If you if you have tiny crock meal, you do not get me. We will give you near beer, something that is not no. as strong. No, I, I need mead first thing in the morning. It's what hey, I always drink. Listen, before. listen, he just listen. He's for being a slave, and he's like, I need my fucking juice. He he points to you. You must respect your elders, or you will not make it in one tea. <laughs> you wish to have I food? I feel like this is initiation. I feel like this is going to be a nightmare. Well, I, I uh, so like Ronan, like they gave us like, they didn't give us many things, but they gave us alcohol. 
to make us like fight for the alcohol. And if you yeah. won, you got alcohol but every morning. But you're not a slave anymore. Finish all of and your you meal. Win. But and I'm then demanding. you can have your mead. If I eat all of all of the food, I can have my alcohol. Listen, I will buy you whatever you need much later. Just not at this moment. He brings whatever foods that you so desire. He brings out two much smaller portions for you specifically. And the ale that you get, the the mead, is is actually cut. It's been cut with water. But I no I noticed this, but I, I imagine that's probably what you got paid though no, was really say, watered awesome down life. shit beer. Yeah, it might be better than what he's used to. <laughs> it's probably better than what it's, I got. It's not as good as what you got last night, but it's infinitely better than what you got in the pits. Yeah, it's I don't I don't think my character needs it, but it's like my morning coffee. Like if I don't <laughs> fucking have it, somebody's dying. Meeting your character, somebody's dying anyway. No, <laughs> well, <right. laughs> Somebody is dying really quickly. <laughs> Neferani, when you peer down at the at the tiny crock plate, you'll notice that most of the meat has been cut into like little tiny sphinxes. <laughs> you <got> chicken <laughs> I bite off all their heads like I don't even <laughs> bite off each head as I go. Don't don't forget to to bite off the boobs next. Oh. What? I'm sorry. What? Nothing. Your nugget. Your enjoy your meal, and I'm gonna <laughs> pat him on the head, and I'm gonna go back to Donkor. So, did you figure um, out how much of a budget I have? So, uh, <laughs> poor, poor Ronan. I'm just like. <laughs> once we, what? Yes. Yeah, so once, once we get into the market, so buy you what. A backpack and a couple of other things that you might need. This, this, what? Did, did you say he has to bite off what again? So, uh, <laughs> Ronan shovels the food down his mouth really, really fast and then straight chugs the meat, the entire thing of mead. And then, like, just, uh, he brings a small bag over to you. It's just made out of some kind of like burlap, nothing like super okay. nice. It's got a really tight drawstring on it. But he drops it off in front of you, and um, there's a kind of like a clap to your shoulder. Um, and he just kind of gives you like, a, you feel the fingers kind of tap off your back for a minute, and then he'll walk away. Yeah, I chug the whole thing, and then uh, just start walking around the bar. You don't take the burlap bag? You just... Or is the burlap bag the meat? No. Or is it... Probably okay, the so it's not like a water flask, it's like a... What's in the burlap bag? Do, do I you know? Do you open it? Uh, terrified of the God, fucking bartender's the, gift. Is it the toy? So, um, <laughs> I start to like, I start to get really pissed off. But then I notice he's handing me something. And then I look inside the bag. It's I, a, I look inside the bag. It's probably like a two or three inch clay figurine of a, uh, an alligator that is, uh, he's, he's got like a, a pharaoh's cowl over his head, like the, the plume over overhead. He's just sitting up sort of like a dogwood that would be begging. Okay. I was like, how would it work with the hood? Uh, they serve dawn quarters here. No, you need to stop that. <laughs> so I, uh, so I, I, I take the toy and I set it in front of the, the cat lady. And then I say, uh, I like you because you gave me cheese, but please don't. Goblins don't like to be pet like kittens. But okay, but can I? What? What if? Hmm. No pants on the head. What can I do? Do you do you like hugs or like back like piggyback rides or? I love piggyback rides. Gun. Uh, long walks on the beach. Not both. Easy coladas. <laughs> yes. Getting caught in the rain. I'm not gonna. Okay. No more pets. But you have to let me give you piggyback rides. You can rub my. You Let's can see. rub my ears. I like. <gasps> I immediately start rubbing his ears. I start purring. A boss is just I looking stop. at them like, what's <laughs> gross? I can just imagine a <laughs> goblin's purr, just the mouth slowly opens, and it sounds like someone with a push mower mowing a lawn. <laughs> it's just a swarm of locusts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's horrifying. I, I can We're see all that. Gonna die. Uh, it's, it's not bad when it comes out. It's kind of like... 
Like it sounds like <laughs> sweet, but in a demonic way. Like if like Aww. if a baby, like the like cat's purred. broken. <laughs> <laughs> So who's who's leaving the the bar? Who's the first to leave? Was it a uh, bossy? I I will be leaving. Yeah, I I wanted to get the fuck out of there after I yelled at Doncor, but then he kept yelling about how the goblin was my brother. So I screamed at them before I finally actually left. Okay. All right, a bossy. Irritated and upset, you leave the tooth and hookah. You swing the makeshift door out of the way. As it seems to fall, all of these almost like natural beaded, it's like a sort of beaded curtain, uh, falls in its way. But attached to the door appears to be a dagger. There is what looks to be a small, I would say parchment, and wound around the parchment itself is a what looks like flowing red, a bit of braided hair. Do I recognize it as Jamara's? You do. I've been expecting that. <laughs> um, I will pull it down and try and figure out what was written there. When you open it up, it's it's very clear. Uh, it's written in what looks to be a very old English style. Um, someone with a very clean and clear hand. There's precision in its in the writing style. You recognize this. You saw this on the contract. It says that you've been discovered. We have found that you have successfully exited the tomb. If you have anything to report in or to deliver, find us at... And they give you a residence. Basically, it's a place of more or less ill repute. Yeah, well, that's about what I was expecting. Havara and he'll barge his way back in and slam the note, the dagger, and the hair down on the table in front of the rest of his party. Okay. I warned you. I warned the lawyer this was going to be a problem. Uh, well, uh, what is the problem here? Yeah, you slam stuff down on the table. Oh, bloody hell. Even I recognize this right away, and he'll drop the hair. Uh, it's a braid. It's Jamara's braid. Is it a lot of hair? Like, is it like a she would be pissed off a lot of hair? Or... 100%. She'd be, she'd be yeah, really if it's mad. it's a braid, she'd be mad. <laughs> Well, I mean, you can braid, li you can do little braids. Just a little tiny one, cut that off. <laughs> and now we have to go, well, I guess exactly what we said we were going to do, find the consortium, it looks like. Okay. Abasi, do you head back out? Um, I'm just going to point out that they gave us an address on this note. And Abasi's no longer feeling quite as brave as he was. He's going to go out when somebody else is ready to go out. Um... Is there is there a symbol like a, like a wax seal that we saw last time, on the on the braid? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, d d most definitely. You you recognize it's the consortium's symbol. Okay. I no. this was my number one thing we had to do. Well, two because we have to shop. But... You know, I've actually. If that's the bloody consortium, then you're telling me they kidnapped her before we went in. And then threaten us when we go. Uh, we've been on their bloody. <clears throat> we've been on their bloody side the whole time. What is this shit? What do you mean? Was they've come to collect? What do you think? What? Yeah, why, why would they take part of our party before we went in? There's collateral. That's just stupid. Why would she? What if we needed her? I mean, we got Zanjavar, but what if we needed her? I don't think that's what they were thinking about. I don't actually, actually at all. Well, based on what Farhan told us, is it we're basically the only group that made it back? So, you, if even if she was telling the truth about how she scattered several groups in there to figure out who was in possession of these military documents, we've if they know we got out yesterday, why would they take her before? This doesn't make a whole lot of... No, it's super sus! <laughs> well, somebody did want her, if you do remember, so again, again collateral. It just seems like a really stupid place to take a lot of. If you want somebody to succeed, you don't cripple them at the knees. Well, they replaced them with Zanjavar, and we seem to have gotten out alive. Anyway, so are we going? Oh, I'm not going anywhere without a lot of you. I walk outside one time and I find somebody's hair in a knife. No, I don't think so. I need new armor, or I'm not going to stand up to anything. Well, then, before we get. I'm sure. Where, where's this 
Show me the note. Where is, where is this that we have to go to? It just slides the rest of the note across. Consortium. Any any weigh-ins from Pilaka and Ronan? Um, I'm kind of just interested in the conversation, like, on listening what happened to the other people and who the hell Zanjafar is. Okay. I'm, uh, I, I'm sorry. I was note keeping here. Uh, what, what, what? Do you, Sorry, do, you, do you weigh in with any information or do you say anything at this? Um, you can clearly see that Abasi is rattled. He was fairly confident before that he could just wander out here and now it seems to be less than that. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm not really engaging in the conversation. Sorry. Kind of, kind of mulling over still about what happened before breakfast. Makes sense. Okay. Do you exit as a team, or do you go in pairs? Uh, I would be trying to travel with the larger group, either way. Yeah, yeah same. Think I, close I, to a boss. I'm feeling like a team is probably the way to go here. Okay. All right. So together, just after first light and breakfast, you exit the Tooth and Hookah. Across the way, at a rival building, the moment that you exit, whomever is leading, and likely second in place, will see that a man immediately walks away from the alley, accompanying the second building. Who is leading? I'm going to assume yeah. uh, Donkor at this point would lead uh, just because he's he's like, a, I, I'm not babysitting from the back. <laughs> He wasn't trying to hide it. Doncor, the moment that you exit, probably about 60 or so feet away, there's a man leaning against a building, and when he saw you exit the establishment, the rest of you in tow, he pushed his body off of the building and started to walk away. Oh, boy. Um... So I'm assuming it's either one of them looking for us or someone else of a ill repute looking for us. They just went down the alleyway. Who? Abasi, would you like to join me? Oh, I could be interested in that, I think. Does uh, does Ronan see this? I would probably be towards the front. Maybe, it My depends. Job. Okay, what would I roll up perception? Go ahead, Palaka. I was gonna say, mind your manners, boys, and give them both a pat on the back and cast guidance. Okay. If you wish to see it, let's see what you got. Uh, that would be perception, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say, well, no, I'm going to reroll that. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Ronan likely would see the man probably turn his back and, and leave. You may not have seen him very clearly from the front, but you caught it like a side profile in him leaving at this point. Do I recognize this person? Nope. Never seen him before. Okay, cool. So I just kind of like trail behind Abasi. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm assuming you're joining us then, Ronan. I mean, the cat lady said cheese, coins, and uh, I get to kill people. And piggyback I mean, I get rides. To kill people. And piggyback rides. <laughs> He's coherent enough to be like, oh, sorry. Killing. Well, that, <laughs> oh, that's, well, that's fair <laughs> enough. Just do me one favor. Don't kill until we tell you to, I guess. I mean, that's pretty much common practice. Yeah, Bossy well, turns around and goes, "You'd think I mean, so. You really would, wouldn't you, Doncor?" I mean, I, I I used to be a pit fighter, but I'm somewhat civilized. Oh well, then that's good. At least then I don't have to worry about you. I just have to worry about <laughs> someone accidentally slashing someone else. Well, no, to be fair, Zanjafar jumped in front of me. To be also fair, I screamed, don't kill the last one! And where were you? I love how I can't <laughs> even defend myself because my character's not here. True enough. I, I'm literally, every time my name gets dropped, I'm just like, Zanjafar comes out of the back door. I did not! You're not Zanjafar anymore. <laughs> it hurts my character so bad. Because we're slandering you every day. Like a slow um, mail. Yep. Y'all are bitches. My ears are on, literally on fire. So, <laughs> Doncor, 
Were you wishing to pursue this individual, or were you moving in the direction of the address listed on the uh, we're envelope? Going, we're going to pursue this individual. Sure. Sure. Do you do so quickly? No, just, uh, just casually is not to draw attention. Okay. Now I ask, interestingly enough, because of Ronan. You've all interested in searching after this individual. Ronan, as the impulsive one of the group. <laughs> That's a scary thought. Do you just walk now that you see him making his way away from you? Um, I don't really feel like super close. I mean, I'm, I'm grateful to the group for rescuing me and I, I'm glad that I can be a part of a group. Like they just invited me, like they don't even know anything about me and they're already pretty accepting even though like they keep making stabs at my vertical challenge nature um well, bossy got it before he's got to give it to someone shorter <laughs> but i would probably tr i would be really close to the dwarf because looking at him already he looks battle scarred and i know that he's always near the action okay sure enough so you follow I, would, I, I don't think i would pursue you follow at the pace of your allies Unfortunately, Don Cor, that, that means that you have to slow yourself down. The only person who doesn't have to slow themselves down would be your uh, your barbarian friend here. He can match pace in walking, but he's insanely fast when sprinting. Neferani is slower because of this stone. Don Cor, oh, excuse me, not Don Cor, uh, Bossy is slower because he's a dwarf. And Pelaka is slow because she's very, very old. Dunkor, you know that there's no way that you'll be able to catch this individual. If you just maintain the pace of everyone else, you'll end up leaving people behind. I can chill. Um, I can jog. <laughs> I think I think he's he's gonna meet he's gonna maintain uh his his pace mainly because he he doesn't want to draw any unneeded attention. They are now traveling with a okay. with a goblin. Got it. So if he if he loses the individual, do, then it's no harm, no foul. I do I do pull up my hood. I do have like a hood that I is I keep underneath my uh uh whatever my studded leather. So I put that up to hide my ears, obviously, because I'm in the middle of somewhere that probably at least I would know there would be no goblins around. You As a like, goblin, I would know. That. You look like an armored Jawa. Yeah, <laughs> even have the little okay. eyes. So, he Ronan, you can see this person trailing away. They're getting quickly, quickly away. The distance is is increasing, but you yeah. see no no tread in the step of the others. They don't seem to break path. If you, uh, what uh, guy with the daggers? Um. Do you not want to chase this individual, or...? No, because he's likely trying to f send information or something about us. I just need to see uh, along the line of where he's going, and if we can catch him, perfect. If we can't, then it's no harm, no foul. Do you think he's bait? Bait? Probably not, because he's definitely much faster than us. But is he, if he's moving at a brisk speed, you think he wants us to follow him? No. I don't. Okay, it's your call, man. Okay. <laughs> and you'll walk on. You move your way into the market, attempting to find this house of somewhat ill repute, whatever it happens to be named. I'm going to leave that to my patrons for next week. And this is actually where we're going to call the session. Ran a little over, I know. But, it's because we started late. Right. And no worries. No worries at all. Um, I hope everybody's okay with that, but we're going to finish right here with you on your move to see the Aspis Consortium. So, as per the normal, we're going to go ahead and, and shout each other out and give each other the opportunity to talk about what we've been doing lately and how you can find each and every one of us. Hey, you guys can follow the Bubber Knot and this channel and then... yeah. <laughs> And BenBriggs.net. This motherfucker. <laughs> Every time. Every time. We're going to start at the other end this time. Abasi. 
What up? I'm JD Scientize and I live at the bottom of the ocean because my apartment decided to flood like two days ago. <laughs> because one of my neighbors went to bed and their toilet just kept pushing out water. Nice. So now they're cutting holes in my roof. It's going to be so much fun. You're almost out of there, man. <laughs> Benbricks.gov. No! Um, so the other thing is I'm not going to talk about certain games that we always talk about because you know I'm interested in them. Yeah, you are. Beyond, uh, <laughs> beyond that... Oh, We're is just that World of Warcraft I hear? Hello? What? No, no, no. Well, I'm playing Destiny right now. I got a jacket I got to win, man. We got Raiden to do this week. Now, I'm just shooting the shit. We're having fun playing whatever comes across my plate. It's just... It's relaxation time, guys. We're having fun till WoW. Then I got Bubfest to look forward to. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah, I'm doing summer right. On my back with my legs in the air. That... No comment? No <laughs> comment. <laughs> Neferani! That's played by Imperial Girl. I got nothing after that. It's, it's kind of hard to follow. Uh, Just letting life air. come at me. I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, I uh, You can find me at twitch.tv slash imperial girl. Um, I don't know, a million days a week. I am going to do some, try, I'm going to try to stream tomorrow. I haven't streamed for like a week because of Denver Comic Con. Um, I haven't slept right in about three months. So all my streams are amazing right now. <laughs> The content I'm delivering is uh, not anywhere near as awesome as uh, you can find here, though, on uh, twitch.tv slash thebubbernot. So make sure you use that Twitch Prime sub uh, and channel right now. Ending on brand. Your turn. <laughs> Good lord. Palaka! <laughs> Queen of the I'm Blood blah. Feather. I'm, bl I'm blah. I'm Blood Feather blah. As I'm known, uh, you can find me in Taron Mill, cannibalizing the Alliance uh, in about three months. Until then, you can find me here weekly on twitch.tv slash thebubbernot, where you should use your Twitch Prime sub right here, right now, every month. Y'all killing me. Goodness gracious. Ronan! Hi. What's up, you Wisconsinite? You cheese head? Cheese head. Wow. Um, my name is Ryu. I stream on Twitch sometimes. Okay. And uh, yeah, I don't really know what I'm playing until we play the thing that we're not allowed to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure, though, I, I really like this character. So you guys should keep shilling out the prime subs Jesus. and the gifted subs. Because I'd yeah. like to keep him longer than I did Zanjavar. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Which everybody seems to down talk. And... Thank you for the fall. You jumped in front of a sword, dude. I don't know what to I... Next. I'm so excited <laughs> to play Zanjafar to show I'm... you <gasps> so much about him. <sighs> don't think he hasn't heard what y'all been saying. Just because he's not there doesn't mean anything. I would just like to point out I'm being very nice. Huh? I'd like to point out that I am pretty uh scandalous so i, <laughs> I haven't heard anything i haven't said anything oh doncore hi i play video games at twitch.tv slash koeg go follow the bubber nut and subscribe okay we're done wow efficient <laughs> goals right there unfortunately that's also on brand <laughs> i'm 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 bub and i do this a lot but more importantly you should go follow all of these people if you can find them on those places, most importantly, like that Pilaka guy he hides on the internet. But when you can find him, it's just pure gold, pretty much all the time. The rest of them, Abasi, Neferani, Ronan, and Doncor, they're regular casters, they're wonderful people, and well, they're some of my favorite people. Definitely worthwhile. Aww. Check them out. Their content is great, even if I lurk most of it. I only really say something when someone says something about genitalia and then I feel like I have to weigh in for one reason or another <laughs> which is my hands. surprisingly penis, more often World of Warcraft classic penis World of Warcraft classic it's, it's surprisingly okay. more often than you might think so that's gonna be it for us tonight we're gonna go ahead and do the after show and I'm gonna let Misty go to bed because I know that she uh, she's probably tired after 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 the Comic Con I, I think I got two hours of sleep last night that was a lot and I feel like if I don't end the show soon, we will see Jared go full uh, Fairly Odd Parents teacher with World of Warcraft. It's actually going to spring up into the air and body's going to twist and contort. Listen, <laughs> I, 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 I did way more worried about the fact that all I've put in my body today is coffee, 
coffee, a milkshake, and some banana bread. I'm going to literally explode in like very 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you made it this long. Not exactly, but that sounds very akin to the, my diet the entire weekend. Oof. So I oh, ran cotton candy at one point. Oh God, oh, no. no, how are you alive? I'm not. I got I got to eat a vegetable right now. <laughs> All right, guys. I don't even think I have any. We're out of here. Love you guys. We'll talk to you later. Peace. Have a good one.